Microsoft Excel has seven new dynamic array functions for Office 365 users. Just the other day I showed you the unique function and if you need to review that it's up in the top right but today I'm going to cover the sort function. I'm going to do three sorts to show you how the sort function works and then I'm going to do the sort function and combine it with the unique function. So let's get started. I'm worried about column D. I listed six countries. I want to sort those. I'm in cell F2. The sort function is simply equal sort. Highlight your range. There I go. Those are sorted in the correct order. If you want to sort them in descending order, and just so you know that is a dynamic array function, if I go to cell F3 or F4, look in the formula bar, there is nothing in my, it's grayed out in my formula bar. So the formula is actually sitting right here in F2. So this is really cool. Now I'm going to go in descending order with the sort function. Sort, range, comma, sort order, I'm sorry, sort index. I'm going to come back and use sort index on example three. So I'm going to do a second comma. Ascending is the number one. It says descending is a negative one. So there I go. So I should get the United States first because it's sorting in descending order. It's basically column F in descending order, so it is working. Here we go. Example three for sort. Now this time I have last name and I have first name. So let's see if it'll do two. So I'm going to do equal sort, highlight, there I go. Press enter. There is my two columns sorted. So I selected two columns and there's my formula. In case you're wondering, I'm going to hit the delete key. I'm going to do the exact same formula, but I'm going to go hit FX in case you're a mouse person. You will type in sort. You will select go. There it is at the top. Click OK. The sort function has four arguments. Notice that array is in bold. That is the only thing that's actually required. So here I go again. It's, the, it's exactly what I just typed. I'm just using the function argument box. Click OK. There we go. Now on this next example, so actually I'm going to do it the fourth time, so this was three, and I'm going to delete this, because it's sorting by last name. For some reason I'm making this up, I decide I want to sort by first name. So it's going to be equals sort, still that same range, comma, notice in bold it says sort index. I have two columns selected, column A2 to B23, and it's column B that I want to sort by, so I'm going to put the number 2 in there. I'm not putting in the number 2 because it's column B, I'm putting in the number 2 because it's the second column, because it may not always be A and B. And that'll take care of this one. When I press enter, it should sort by first name, and it did. Amy, Art, Ashley. Let's actually see if that's right. I'm going to do a sort over my data. Sort A to Z. Amy, Art, Ashley, Bill. So that's actually really cool. And one last one now. The other day I did the unique function. So it's, that's one of seven dynamic array functions. I'm covering sort today. Let's mix them together. So I'm going to add a couple columns. Insert. I'm going to do this here in C2. So I'm going to do equal sort and then I'm going to combine it with unique. The unique function is going to go inside of this range A2 to A15 and it will find and return the unique values. That is it right there. So it returned, even though Chris is in here twice, it returned my name just once. Uh, it returned McDonald is in here twice, there's McDonald once, but it also sorted them if you look up in my formula bar. So there's the sort function 
combined with the unique function. Thank you for your time. I will cover, there's five other dynamic array functions and I'll continue to cover them throughout the month of January. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful week. Thank you.